Hello and welcome back. We are continuing the modeling process of the Mark 7 Viper from Battlestar Galactica. And I just keep feeling like we need like a, a previously on Zach's modeling of Battlestar Galactica stuff. Like an intro, you know? Or maybe we get uh, Bear McCreary to do like some sort of cool taiko drum music when we get started. But probably not. I probably can't afford him. So uh, let's see. In the last video, we did some cool stuff. We extended the front part of the fuselage, which is starting to look pretty swanky, if I do say so myself. There is uh, there's a few things I wouldn't mind changing up just a, a little, and some of them are kind of nitpicky, to be honest. Uh, if I bring over a picture, I mean, it's like the the little tiny, uh, the surface that I'm using inside of here right now is vertical. It's perfectly straight up and down, and I wouldn't mind adjusting that so it's slanted forward just a little, because it looks like it's doing that here. And then I want to take a look at adding on... Uh, the actual tip of the nose cone, which has this cool shape, very interesting shape that kind of sweeps back and has a hole in it so we can put more vents because in space, ventilation is critical, as we can see. We've got to have air intakes when we're in space. Okay, sorry, I had to at least get that out there. So uh, let's see, let's put this away, slide it off, and let's just jump right in. So I'll hit uh, the tab key so I can start modeling and I've got these faces here that uh, directly affect what I'm talking about so let me hit the point key over on the numpad so I can zoom in on those and let's see, hold on shift, if I grab all of these at once I can slide them back a little bit and if I go into wireframe view with the Z key jump over to a side view, I can hit R and just kind of rotate them forward and maybe scale them up just a little, just a tiny little bit. Okay, so that's really all I wanted to do there. Now, let's take a look at the faces up here at the front, because these have to do some pretty cool stuff. And there's a lot of extra edges up here, so you got to be a little careful with what's going on. Either way, you're going to end up with a lot of vertices to edit, so just, uh, just kind of know that going in. So let's see, we've got some um, edges that kind of go around. I'm wondering, and I'm not, I'm not really sure how well this is going to work, but some part of me wants to grab this vertex and this vertex and see if I can get away with hitting Alt-M, Merge to Last, and dropping those out. Now, up here, we're starting to get the front of the wing shape, and that's very cool, but uh, we, we need to be kind of careful with how that gets merged together because you can make something that's kind of ugly. What I'm going to do is switch over to Edges, and we'll do an extrusion. So I'm just going to hit E, pull this out just a little bit. The uh, How far doesn't really matter because I'm going to be taking away the vertices here in just a moment anyway. We're going to go to Vertices, give me this guy and this guy, Alt-M. And uh, at last, and this guy as well, Alt-M, at last. And you see that kind of caps that off, but it does require some cleanup. So we got to pull that forward a little bit. Now, if we jump to the top view uh, like that and take a look, I mean, that's bringing it all together pretty well. We, just, we have some more adjustments to do. So let's just rotate around. I can probably, 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 uh, get away with merging these two vertices down as well. And as the, the more vertices I can merge in, as far as I'm concerned, uh, the better. So let's see, Alt-M at last. And that's looking pretty good. Let's see if we take a look from the side. Yeah, we can rearrange these to kind of surround that area of the wing. So we can pull this up and pull these in. Jump to the top view, and you know it's pretty close. It's not absolutely 100% perfect, but that's really, really close. Pull that out. It looks like if we really wanted to, we could add another edge in here to add some thickness. But I mean, it seems to be getting the point across. I mean, you can tell that that is kind of extending out into a wing-like shape. Okay, now if I jump over to the side view, we got this funny slant, uh, what's going on here. Let's switch over to edges. And what I want to do, well, I don't want that edge, um, but let's, let's hit control space and get rid of my widget, because that's just getting in my way. Let's grab this edge. Is there another guy on top? Nope, that's everybody. Awesome. Let's hit control E and find edge slide and just pull these guys forward until this forms a bit more of a straightened edge. 
and we can do something similar here, but we don't have anything to slide against, so we can just grab this, uh, jump over to the side view so we can see what we should be doing, bring our widget back out, and just tug forward. And if anybody was paying really close attention right there to what flashed up on the screen for just a second, you might have noticed that I actually hit the W key because I'm still, after all this time, in autopilot mode for Maya. So every time I want to move something, I keep wanting to tap the W key, which is pretty hilarious as far as I'm concerned. Okay, now let's grab edges. Uh, so let's see, make sure, deselect everything for a moment. I'm going to put my widget away again with control space and grab edges, 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 and hit the E key and slide forward and leave it kind of messy, just so it's easier for me to grab vertices and start doing some merging. So, Alt-M, merge to last, fantastical. And let's hit Z. And now it's really just a matter of positioning these guys. So, click and adjust. Now, what I'm gonna do, just for a moment, to make myself feel good about uh, this modeling decision, is I'm gonna leave these vertices back a little bit from uh, from the actual edge of the surface here, because I want to extrude out one more time to make sure I get this just right. So let's see, if I rotate around, that's still looking pretty good. I could probably get away with adding another run of detail under here, but if I don't have to, so much the better. Uh, you know, it's just one of those things. Um, switch over to edges. I hit Z. Uh, let's see, can I just do an alt click? Of course you can, Zach. Now, uh, let's see, if I grab this picture, you get kind of a clear idea of what we're creating here. It almost looks like there, this has been sanded away down here. I mean, I'm seeing a little bit of an edge. That could just be part of the texture. A little hard to say, but that's all right. Let's do an extrusion. So I'm going to jump over to the side view, hit the E key, pull this forward. And then I'm going to scale it down. So, whoop. And uh, let's see, let's pull it forward just a little more. Right click, didn't mean to do that. Uh, let me bring my widget back out. So we're going to drag that forward just a little bit. Now, if we take a look at this from the front view, which is not the back view, but the front view. Um, yeah, not quite what I'm going for, but close. I mean, it's really, really, really close, which I like. Uh, we could probably... Now, this will probably break something. I'm going to try it anyway. I'm going to grab this vertex and kind of pull it down. Uh, let's deselect. I'll grab this vertex, also pull it down. Grab this vertex and also pull it down. And we can start kind of lining these vertices up around... Well, see, I can't really put them around the whole... We need. We have another set of faces that's going to flatten that out, and I realize that. So let's not do what I was just doing. In fact, let's pull this away. Uh, let's pull this away. I'm going to pull this away just a little more. And let's see. Uh, let's pull this back. It's going to need to go back even further, I'm thinking which will require some adjustment in the side view, I am certain. But, c'est la vie. There we go. See, what I'm doing is I'm looking at this edge right in here where you can see the shading uh, kind of change in our view. And I want to use that as an indicator of where the next set of faces is going to be. So I'm going to put these vertices right around that change in the shading. So something like that. Now let's see, how bad did that get over here in the side view? Uh, ooh, pretty bad. Um, but not bad enough for me to panic just yet because what we could probably do, and I'm just thinking... Uh, temporarily, I may have to make some adjustments as we can start pulling these back. And we may end up with a shape that's a little more consistent with what's really going on on the surface anyway. So something probably a little bit like that. Pull this up just a little bit.
Now I'm just curious, if I hit tab and I smooth this whole thing out, I mean overall that still looks like it's getting the job done. This looks like it might have gone a little bit too far back, but for now I'm going to roll with it and then we can just make adjustments later as we need to. So let's switch over to edges. Let's hold down Alt and grab this edge here. Let's do an extrusion and play with that for a minute because it feels good. Then right click. And we're not going to move that really anywhere. Uh, let's hit uh, not E. I don't want to hit E again, but what I want to do is scale this. Let's hit S. Boom. Okay, and we can slide that a bit forward. What I'm looking for is to get this pretty much flattened out right here in this area. Now let's jump over to the front view, hit Z, uh, jump over to vertices, and start lining these new verts up with the inside of our air intake hole on our spacecraft. I'm not griping, it's actually a very cool design, but it is kind of fun to, you know, poke fun at. But I mean, and I fully acknowledge, folks, for those of you who are already drafting your email to me, that uh, this ship has been known on occasion to fly within the atmosphere of some planet. I know that. I'm just having a little bit of fun because, well, that's because it's called fun. You know. All right. I'll probably end up having to add an edge in here and kind of rounding all this out, but I'll jump off that bridge when I get to it. Now, let's see here. Uh, if I shade everything up, uh, it's looking pretty decent so far. Let's hit uh, edges and alt and click. Not that edge, but this edge. Excellent. And let's hit E. And I'll play with that for a minute again because I like it. And then we'll just slide this back in Y. So I right click to cancel that motion if you're curious. Boom. And that's looking pretty good. Now I want to cap this off. And generally, if I'm ever doing something like this and I don't know how many faces I need to cap something, uh, there's a couple of ways to go about it. I can just make, I can drag these back and then just make a, uh, a plug, like a separate face that could go in here, which could be useful if I need to. Uh, run some more detail that I don't necessarily want to add a bunch of faces in here for. But for now, what I'll do is the easy way, or e well, the solid way. It'll it'll make sure that the whole mesh is one solid surface. We'll grab the top edge and the bottom edge, and hit F to fill those in. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, six edges we want to connect to. But I'm not going to rush into that. What we'll do is we'll hit Control R, and I'm going to roll my mouse wheel up once to create two edges in here. And we'll slide them up. Uh, if things get a little uh, out of uh, perfectly planar, that's okay. Uh, we can always flatten everything back out. If you're all paranoid about it staying planar, then you can undo that. And you can just slide your edges. I'm not going to worry about it. I just wanted to kind of mention that. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six uh, doesn't give us a center edge. So I'm going to hit Control R. I'm going to add an edge right into the middle of this and right click. Now let's grab an edge here and here and hit F and then here and here and hit F. And if you take a look, we now have a quad on either side of this. So we can grab you and you and hit F and you and you and hit F. And that's all closed in now, which is pretty fantacular. Uh, let's hit control. I need to quit saying that. I really do. I know it. Let's hit control tab F and go boom, 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 boom. I think I got that from portal, the word fantacular. Like Portal 1. But I could be. I, I might have dreamed it. It's hard to say. All right, let's hit S. And I don't want to scale like this. I just want to scale in the Y axis for now. So we'll pull that in, get it really close. And then SY again, so I can make it nice and flat, which is nice. Now, I want this to slant forward as well. So I'm going to rotate it to slant it forward like so. And then I'm going to scale it. And uh, we could just scale it up in Z for now. Just kind of stretch it out, rotate around here to the front. And let's see, it's not looking too bad, but it does need to be a lot more forward. So I could pull it to about here. It looks like I may need to uh, rotate it a bit more forward because the whole thing's just looking a little deep. Truthfully though, to be honest, I want to grab this edge and I just don't like how far back it is. 
So I'm going to improvise a little bit. We'll pull that up. Let's we'll switch over to vertices. I'll also pull this up. And that's a little better. Uh, let's pull this up. I'm just kind of working on rounding that out such that it is pleasing to the eye. Now, if I check out the side view, we get, we're obviously a little bit off here. But uh, we can fix that. So control tab E for edges. Give me this edge. Let's just pull this up. And we can pull this up a little bit. Control tab V for vertices. We'll pull this up. Pull this up. And let's see here. Um, B, let's deselect all. B, grab, slide back. And B, select all. Blam, slide these back. Dun, 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 dun. So I'm just kind of tracing this out, as you can see. And slide that back. And I think that's that's good enough where I think I can tweak it out from here and make it look nice. Um, I've got some extra faces. And what I mean by that is I'm 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 way under my budget. I was hoping for three to 5,000 polys. I mean, of course, if I come in way under budget, that's good. But I'm so under budget right now. It's like I haven't even broke 1,000 yet that uh, I could start doing some coolish detailing work. But, I, you know, let's save that. Let's just be safe and careful and all that kind of stuff. We'll save detailing and tweaking and the addition of, uh, of more vertices just to make stuff look better for a little ways down the road. Besides, we've still got to put the engines in, and all of this smooth body stuff can be relatively low poly, uh, but the engines are very angular, and they have a bunch of little bits and pieces all over them, so uh, those might end up eating more polygons than I'm thinking. Probably not, but you never know. So let's do uh, a quick change of pace as soon as I reach in here and fix this for not being all lined up and pretty. I just noticed this. I was just glancing. I was like, oh, that's kind of broken. So let's unbreak it. So let's see. Uh, let's grab some vertices. Make sure everything's deselected first. And grab you and you and you. I can slide all of that forward. And that looks a little better. And then, let's see, let's deselect these. I just did that with B and middle mouse, for those of you who are keeping up. And we could lift this up a little and slide it forward a little. Okay. Yeah, it's nice. And tab Z. Yeah, a lot nicer. Much nicer. Okay. Now, what I want to do is jump over and take a look at adding this little wing fin thing, uh, which should go... Really easy, I'm thinking. Or I'm hoping. Uh, let's see if I. But if I was gonna do it, if I was the modeler, <laughs> let's see. Let's hit tab so we can go into the object. I'm just gonna right click somewhere out here in space, <laughs> space, and let's go to add mesh. Let's bring in a new cube. And of course, uh, cube by itself is not gonna give us what we want. So let's move this up into the air and let's slam this together to make a mashed cube in the middle. And I just, let's see, that, that get cut out pretty well. Control tab F, and it still has a little face in the center. So we'll grab that and hit X and delete faces. So now it's just a box like so, which is nice. Now, uh, let's jump over to, I was thinking, should I do this out of a plane? But nah, we're, we're already, we're committed at this point. I mean, okay, not really committed, but you get the idea. So let's switch over to vertices, control tab V, and let's hit B and drag out a box, and we'll slide this over to here. Fantastic. And uh, let's grab this one back here, and we'll slide this back here. Deselect, B, grab, U, so you, obviously, you know, I'm just kind of framing this out. Grab U, pull back to here. Now, it's important to me that we get the basic proportions down first. So while this traces out our shape relatively well, we need to remember to come over to the front view or the back view. It's not going to matter that much. And make sure that we get the thickness right as well. So pull this in. Also, I'm noticing, of course, some discrepancies just, you know, by a tiny little bit. That's so little that I'm not going to stress it, but uh, I only mention it because I don't want you to stress it either. Let's grab you and you, and let's pull these in. So this whole thing needs to be relatively vertical. Perfect. So far. 
All right, now we can go ahead since you know we're not going to be doing any smoothing or anything. Obviously, uh, we can do a little bit of, of rounding to the shape. <clears throat> excuse me, by hitting Control Tab E for edges, grab this edge and slide it back just a little. And same thing back here, and grab this edge and slide it forward just a little. And that creates a nice, lovely bit of rounding to the shape, which is very, very cool. Now, and that's the phone. Excuse me, let me just go ahead and uh, turn that off so that doesn't bother us anymore. Actually, that startled the daylight out of me. Uh, so now, let's go back over to the side view and hit Control tab 3. Now, if you take a look here, obviously there's some rounding going on. Uh, on this shape. It's not perfectly straight because our edge meets here and our edge meets here. And I'm thinking it's a pretty safe bet that a polygonal edge is going to be a perfectly straight line. So the fact that we see this kind of bowing outward means that uh, our little tail fin here is not 100% straight as an arrow. That's okay. You know, it's one of those things where it's like if you're a super hardcore perfectionist and you lose sleep at night because there are tiny little discrepancies like that, well, then you may want to fix it. Me, I try not to sweat the small stuff, so I'm not going to worry too much about that. I don't think any player or anybody is really going to be like, oh, hey, you know, that wasn't designed to be perfectly straight. That said, um, when I start adding the gun, if I find myself pulling it forward, uh, well, anyway, I'm just saying, if you ended up not changing that, I wouldn't freak out. If I was your art director, I wouldn't, you know, explode at you or anything. All right, uh, faces. Let's delete out that bottom face. That's all I did there. Because we don't need that bottom face. It's jammed into the top of the fuselage. So, you know, it's just an extra face we don't need. So let's grab this edge. And I want to jump back over to the side view. And I want to kind of sink this down inside, <clears throat> at least temporarily. Now, I may end up undoing that. I mean, you can see there's a little bit of gappage there. In the design. It's almost like this is made to look like it's sort of sitting on top. And if I end up with uh, a whole bunch of excess detail come detailing time, uh, what I mean is a bunch of room for detailing. Like if I'm way, way, way under budget, you know, I can add a row of polygons here just to kind of you know, clean that up. For now, let's hit Control R, click, and of course we'll put this right about here. Now let's rotate around, Control Tab F for faces. We'll grab this face. Jump back over to the side view, and let me hit E to extrude, and that's just going to go out there and a little crazy, which is okay. Pull this forward. Let's hit S and Y, scale and Y, and we'll pull that in nice and flat. I'll do it again just so I can you know, get it really close. We'll pull this forward, and we'll hit S and scale the whole thing down. Pull down a little bit. And we can see that there is an interesting shape here. It's not just a perfectly straight line. There's like a, some curvature, almost like it's bullet-shaped, uh, parabola-shaped or something. So let's hit Control-R here. And I'm going to do this scale-Y thing. So S-Y and pull that in. S-Y, pull that in. And we'll slide that back. Now let's see here, if I switch over to a top view and hit the point key to kind of frame up on that. And yeah, so definitely some things need some changing. So uh, let's see, control tab E for edges. We can pull this in. I don't necessarily want to slam it all the way into the, uh, the center, but I can pull this back and that'll help me get a little bit more pointiness. We can pull this in as well. And that's kind of what we want to do there. Now, reading that point out of the image is a little tricky, but if you look really close, you can just barely see it. And we're actually pretty close. The only thing is, we're, we don't really have a lot of rounding here. So what I want to do is adjust some of my vertices to get that. So we can take this edge that we've got right now, scale that in Z, and pull that down. And that starts to make more of a rounded shape, which is very cool. Uh, let's go back over to the side view, control tab V for vertices. We can grab this central vertex, and of course we can pull that up. We can pull this one, not this one, uh, we can pull this one down, like so. I'll add a probably at least one more edge loop in here to, to clean that up. We can grab this vertex and pull it down. Now, we can take a little bit of the pressure out of that change in direction by doing this. 
And I just like the way that looks a little better. And we can pull this down as well. And again, we're just kind of accentuating some of that rounding. Okay, let's hit Control R right about here. Slide this forward, scale up a little bit. And something about like so. All right, I think that's looking pretty nice so far, but let's jump out of here, out of edit mode. Let's go back into object mode and let's hit smooth. And it's nice, but I think we could kind of, I think we've got enough excess detail just kind of sitting there to round it out a bit, make it look a little nicer. So yeah, we're still at 886 faces. It's pretty slick. All right, so let's hit tab. Now, of course, if we switch that over to triangles, it'll probably be a little different, but I'm not going to stress too much right now. We're so under budget that I'm really not scared. Um, yeah, so let me grab this guy, and I want to add an edge here. Jump over to the side view, and then just start cleaning this area up just a little bit. And that's it. That's really all I wanted to do right there. So now that kind of blends in a little more nicely. Now, um, I said I wasn't going to sweat this. I'm still technically not sweating it, but I'm going to change it around a little anyway. Let's hit Control R, roll my mouse wheel up, like so, and that automatically gives me these faces. It's close to what I want, but not quite. It's Control Tab F and grab this face here at the front, and we can slide that forward just a little bit. So we get that little bit of rounding there. I'm trying to decide if I want to do vertical edges as well. I think I'm going to. So let's hit Control R, and I'll just do two, like so. Jump back over to the side view, go back over to wireframe. Uh, control Roll tab E. Well, I already had edges selected, but you know, you can't be too careful. We could pull this up a little bit. And just have a look here. I can grab these and pull them down and forward. Control tab V for vertices. So grab this outer vertex, handle it by itself. And then with that in place, that allows me to take some of these edges and pull them in just a little bit, just to get a little bit of change in curvature. I'm not, it's not, I'm not completely 110% sold that I need that much detail though. So what I think I'm going to do instead, uh, let's hit Control Tab E, let's grab this edge. In fact, let's see if we can get the whole thing. I could just zip, <clears throat> excuse me, I could zip the whole thing up with uh, a merge. Yeah, let's just do that. So, control tab V for vertices, grab U and U, Alt M at center. And then these two, Shift R, these two, Shift R, these two, Shift R. So, I added two. I really, I guess in the end, I really only wanted one. So. Uh, Alt M and Shift R. Perfect. Okay. All right. So now we jump over here and slide that up a little bit. Take a look and lining up pretty well, all things considered. So if we jump out of here and hit Tab, we're actually starting to get something that looks exactly like. A Viper Mark 7. Like right now, I could look at this and I'd go, oh, yeah, that's from Battlestar. I, I know what I'm looking at. So uh, let's see, display only render. So that'll be nice. And get rid of that grid so we can kind of see what's going on here. So I think this is, uh, at 29 minutes in, this is a pretty good place to stop. So I wanted to thank all of the member sponsors out there who make everything that 3D Buzz 
uh, does possible really without you guys we wouldn't even be here so thank you all so much and i will catch you all on the next modeling video take care